Purpose can be defined as the central motivating aims of your life, the reasons you get up in the morning. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony. For those who don't know, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell button so you guys know when I'll be posting my next video. With that being said, let's get right into the video. So today we will be discussing how to identify your purpose, your God-given gift, your God-given passion, your God-given purpose. If you are feeling lost and you don't know what to do in life, I feel like this video will be such a source for you, a guide for you. You don't want to be living life and you have not fulfilled your purpose on this earth. Your calling is the reason why you were placed on this earth. Let me say that again. The main reason we are all placed on this earth is to fulfill our purpose, is to fulfill our passion. Let me tell you guys something. To identify your gift is very simple. Why? Because it's already within you. It's already instilled with you since birth. You just have to look within yourself to identify it. What burns inside your heart so deeply, you need to start paying attention to it. Why? Because it never goes away. For example, I knew mine since 2018, clear as day. I didn't do anything about it. It came to me again 2021 and since that day i knew that i'm like tony this is it like stop fighting it stop running from it because it would always come back to me regardless even the little things i do in life it just made it clear that this is what i'm supposed to be doing in life so now i'm going to tell you guys how to identify your gift your passion your purpose in everyday life number one when you wake up and you enjoy the life that you're living is because you are living within your purpose. If you are waking up and you're not happy that you're waking up because you have to do something that you don't want to do, is because you're not living in your purpose. Number two, pay attention to the things that make you happy. Pay attention to the things that you do that come easily and naturally. Meaning that if you know you're not good at cooking and you continue to try to figure out how to cook and you cannot do it, that's not your passion. That's not something that you're supposed to be doing. Not saying you can't do it, but it's not something that you're supposed to be doing. Your gift comes naturally because it's already within you. Your purpose is natural. It's easy to obtain. It's nothing difficult, like with school, whereby some people's good at certain subjects, some people is not good at other subjects. And number three, everybody on this earth is gifted with something. We are gifted with a lot of things due to God, but the main thing is our purpose and that is something that nobody else has but you. One of the main reasons why it's hard for some people to find their passion, their gift, is because you are wanting someone else's gifts to be yours. That is not going to happen because what that person has, you cannot obtain. Number four, your gift is what you do the best at with little effort. Your gift will make room for you, meaning that everything in life will start to come easy to you. Things will start making a way for you doors will start opening for you because you're living in your purpose it's not a difficult thing if something is already instilled in you if it's something that comes already natural to you it starts making a way for you you understand what i'm saying number five stay focused and stay quiet within yourself to understand who you are and to understand what you're called to do. The only way you can really find your purpose is if you start looking at you, start looking at your life and see the things that doesn't require so much effort for you to do because it'd be a natural thing. Six, there's nothing like prayer. Praying to God always gives you clarity of what you need to do because he's the only one that knows 
what's going to happen in the next 10 years. He's the only one who knows you better than yourself, better than your boyfriend, better than your parents. He's the only one that understands you. So I gave you guys about a couple of tips how to identify your passion, your purpose, your gift. But for me personally, how I really got to identify it was staying quiet for a long period of time. I gave myself a six month self reflection of life. That's what really helped me to identify my purpose. Some people, there's other things, but the steps that I shared, the things that I told you guys is something I indulged in. It's something that has allowed me to identify my purpose. Some may work for you guys. I hope it does. So that concludes my video. But just remember, the moment you start living in your purpose is the day you really start living life. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys follow me on my social media. Make sure you guys like, comment, and share this video as well. I'll see you guys in the next one.